Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, Chris Pugh, the Digital Sales Director over here at Chart Local. Hello. Hello, sir. Thanks nice for coming back you. for you Techie Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you very much. The way you said that, that it was like very seductive. Yeah, but that's how you say it. It sounds better with your accent, though, Techie okay. Tuesday. Okay, now here's some <laughs> things that I wanted to ask you. How to effectively reach and get engagement through Facebook ads. Right. That's our main topic today for everyone. Mm -hmm. So this is the first question, all right? Are you measuring your goals? What does that mean? Sure. Yeah, I think you know what we're talking Do about today know? is really just optimization yep. for people that are running their own ads, right? So I think once you run some ads and you got to figure out is this thing working, that's where mm -hmm. the optimization comes in. And the first thing is, is what are you running and specifically, and what are you trying to gauge that against? So you have something to figure out, is this actually working for you or not? So for example, are you running the campaigns to get engagement? Are you running the campaigns to get opt-ins? Are you running the campaigns to make sales? You can run a campaign specifically to tell you those factors, but you got to optimize the campaigns to figure that out. Oh. You can do well, that all on Facebook. So how do we know if we're running the right type of Facebook ad? Well, that takes a little testing. Okay. So, you know, sometimes the first time you run that cat picture, it doesn't always work, right? So you've got to run different <laughs> types of ads. I've been doing it um, every day. I'm pictures of a cat. <laughs> well, the big thing here that you that I think people need to know about is boosted post. You hear that term a oh, lot yeah, on Facebook. I, I know, Troy, you've heard that term a lot in your, in your lifetime. But... My, my, my opinion of boosted posts is to not do them. And the reason being is because with a boosted post, you're only getting a one-time engagement factor. If you're paying for ads, pay to drive traffic and increase the likes on your page so the next time you run ads to them, more people actually see it. Okay, well something, another key that you said, to find out is your ad copy working? Now when you say ad copy, does that actually mean, you know, are you cutting and pasting or you mean the text? down the bottom. Sure, no, that's a good question. I think it means um, the actual text that's in the, in, the, in the ad, right? So the ad copy could be the image or it could be the text. The main thing with Facebook is your headline, right? You've got 25 characters to make sure this thing works and grabs people's attention. So um, that headline is key. And you've got to test different headlines sometimes to, to see what you know, works better or not. So you just touched on it, but let's elaborate a little more on the image. How do you know if not the, the cat. images you're posting are effective? <laughs> I guess if it's a cat, it's not effective. But beyond that, how do yeah. you know? Not for the cat lovers. Not for the cat. Yeah, right. not for the cat lovers. No, I mean... Um, I'm one of them. You know, with the images, <laughs> it just it really has to do with playing with the backgrounds of your images. So sometimes oh. certain pictures of people or certain colors in the background resonate different with different folks. Sometimes you just got to test out different things. And that may be taking an image and putting one of those nice Instagram you know, um, profiles on there that make it look really nice or something mm. like that. You know, you just need to test out different types of, of imagery to see which one works best with your clients. Okay, well looking at the last one that we have here right now, what's the context of your campaign? You say that's quite key. When you say context, do you mean making sure the image and the headline and the text is all matching up? A little bit of that, but it's really just a bigger picture. You know, what are you trying to do with the campaign itself? You know, are you just trying to, to run ads about pretty cats or, you know, cute cats, or are you actually trying to drive traffic to the business? So it's thinking about all those things at once do you know and running so a campaign many lines that makes sense. That I can have on that right now, Chris, <laughs> that I'm leaving alone. So completely. let's segue to your Mexican vacation. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> if you want to find out more information about Chris Pugh, there it all is up on the on the screen right now, website, and of course Chris Pugh's email address and phone number right there. Hey, buddy, thanks for coming in. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Stay <laughs> with us. We're going to check back in with Eric after the break for a final look at weather.